So you've decided you want better audio in your videos, but you don't know if you should go with the Shure MV88 or the new Shure MV88 Plus video kit. Today I'm gonna walk you through some of the differences between the two, so hopefully you can see which one would be a better fit for you. Welcome to Shelly Saves the Day on my channel. I help you create content so you can share what you love with the world. Today we're going to be going into some of the unboxings and comparison and contrast between the Shure MV88 and the MV88 Plus video kit. So if you are interested in that, keep watching. I want to say thank you so much to the team at Shure and Mario. Thank you so much. They did send me this mic and I am really excited to make a video on it. All opinions are still my own. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and jump into this unboxing. I'm super excited. It actually came in two packages. So it came like one and two, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one. Okay, so in the first box, what we have is, oh, these are headphones. This was not what I was expecting. <laughs> wow, okay, so these are the SE215 wireless sound isolating earphones. So I'm gonna have to read up more about this because that's pretty cool. So it has an inline mic and remote, it has detachable cable, it has an eight hour battery life, and a two year warranty. Sweet, I'm really excited to give these a shot. Okay, let's read this here. This is the universal three and a half millimeter earphone communication cable. Oh, okay, there you go. So I guess this with that on my phone, perfect. All right, that was not what I was expecting at all. Let's go ahead and jump into this one. This is really cool. They came out with a new updated version of this and I wanna see really what the difference is between this one and the old one that I do have because I, I will tell you guys straight up if it's worth spending the money um, between getting one and getting the other. So let's go ahead and take a look at this because I believe that the one that was from last year, just the NV88. That was $150. Let's see what we have here. Made with motive, create, record, edit, share. Okay, so there's a little card inside the box. And I know that this one comes with the Pixie Manfrotto um, like tripod, which is my favorite handheld tripod. I have one back here. You probably can't see it. I have one over here. I have a spare in the closet over there just in case that one breaks. Plus I have a third one. Um, it, it, it's absolutely my favorite. So Okay, so first of all, this is interesting. It comes like in a roll-up bag like this. And so once you kind of un... Oh, wow. It's got all these pockets inside. You know what else this would be good for? Traveling makeup brushes, if you were <laughs> if you were so inclined. There's a lot of things inside of here. Okay, let's check this out real quick. So in the first pocket, so I don't, we're just kind of going from one side to the other. So I'm going to start here in one pocket and see. I think this is the actual mic itself. All right. Wow, this is different. Okay, this is different to start off with. Okay, so if you see it like this, there's on the side you see the R for right, right? And then the L for left. And it still has the kind of like foam rubber ball on the front of it. And from what I remember, it's like a windscreen. It helps to reduce uh, like noise. And before you could kind of pull it off, I don't really see this being the case on this one. I Can you? Can you? Can you? Yes, yes you can. <laughs> okay, because I'm like, it looks different on the box. Okay, so it still looks like the other one. And the other one, remember, I, I'll go grab it here in a second, but it has that, remember, like the articulating head. This one looks like it's more like in a fixed position and it doesn't actually bend or move at all. So there's one difference right away. It's kind of awkward getting the um, the thing back on, honestly. Okay, and on the back of it, I don't know if you can see this exactly. I'll try and move it up here. So it has a micro USB on it, and I guess um, that's how it's drawing its power, but this is really interesting. It has an actual headphone plug for, I'm assuming for monitoring the audio levels, which that's a huge thing that the other one did not have at all. So I love that it has this on there because there's a lot of times you wanna see like, are my audio levels right? There was no way to kind of monitor sound or anything like that. So I love that they have the headphone jack on here. So this is fantastic. And one other thing that's different is on the other one, the, um, the power unit itself, it has the actual lightning jack on there. And so you just plug it in. And this actually looks like there's this cable and adapter so it can be farther away and not plug directly into the phone like right up next to it so this is really cool let me okay let's go through the rest of the pockets and then we can kind of keep talking more about it so the next thing here this is uh probably to go with the pixie manfrotto thing which is in this box so i can show you here so yeah this is exactly the same oh it's a sure on it this is the manfrotto one that i have currently on like a little vlogging camera. And this is the one from Shure, so you can see they're like exactly the same, right? They made the exact same thing. They're the exact same height, except this one just says Shure on it, and this one says Manfrotto, which is what you would get if you, you know, order this off Amazon or wherever. It has an articulating ball head, so all you have to do is then you can push this with your thumb, and then you can swivel the head in lots of different angles. So this comes in really handy because it's not stationary, so if you need something where it's 
slightly downward, you can do something like that. Of course, you still have to, you know, kick out the little legs and, and do that, but it's nice. And then the legs come together and it's indented here at the top, right underneath the ball head. So it's actually really comfortable in your hands. You kind of carry around and do this kind of thing with. So I, I'm sure you see a ton of people vlogging out there with this particular handheld unit. And it's a great unit because it gives you this for the one-handed monopod kind of feel. It has the legs that extend out so you can have it resting on top of like a bookcase or, you know, like a table and still shooting. So there's a reason why this is so popular. I have, like I said, I have three of these. I have three. I love them so much and I want to have backups for any of my rigs. And it looks like you have this and it has the cradle. It says sure on it as well. And then you fit the microphone through here, I'm assuming. So now we're getting someplace. So we've got the microphone and we've got it in its little cradle here with the, the threading mount at the bottom. Okay, so in the next pouch over, here we go. Now we've got the phone brace. And the way that this works is, let's see, okay. So you've got a sliding, so it's not one of those like uh, elastic-y ones that's bouncing up and down. You can actually get it to the size that you want and then it looks like you have a crank in the back that kind of clamps down on it. I'm gonna try this real quick and put my phone in and kind of put it down and then give it a little twisty on the back. So that's easy enough to install. We've got a, this is a USB-C uh, cable. So for some of those Android phones out there um, that are using that, it has this cable. So I am assuming, unlike the last one, which was iOS only, because it only had the lightning adapter in the bottom, you can also use select um, Android phones with this. I believe I saw online and you can check the compatibility because I don't know the rules on which ones are compatible and not, um, but I'm sure they have them listed on their website and I will point to a URL that you can go visit if you want to check that out in the description. All right, so this is a cable and it is the micro USB and it has a lightning on the other side. So you plug this into the microphone with a micro USB and then on the other side, you would be plugging in the lightning to your iPhone. So one other thing, let's take a peek here. See, this section has the little threading in the top. So you're gonna be able to do this guy like this so now you've got a unit like this. You can um, have it in a horizontal mode. And I believe, let me just see, I believe that if you unscrew this and then extend it, that you're also able to fit the phone in a vertical mode. And I just confirm that that's true. I don't see that being true. I thought it said that you could do that. Can you not? And I don't know why it goes so wide. What's the point if it doesn't go all the way? Hmm, that's kind of a bummer. I thought actually that would be a good thing because for some people who want to shoot like IGTV or something like that, actually in a vertical mode, it would be nice if it was able to support that and still have the thing on top. So, and then I think you just have to use this little guy and slide it in here like you would a hot shoe. But let's take a peek at how this is going to attach. I was like, this is the little part that fits in that little shoe, but this thing, you see there's a screw, you have to screw it up. That way you can slide the mic into the, the groove and then you slide it down to tighten it. Now let's get back to business. Let's put the cell phone back in. Then we take this side and we're gonna plug it directly into the power. See, oh, there is. Okay, there's a power indicator right here saying that it's receiving power. So that's, or it did, it's off now. Um, let's open up my phone. And from what I hear, it's the same app as from the last time around. So if you go to the main screen, it's showing you that it's the Shure MV88 Plus. So it recognizes which mic that you have plugged in. And it has all of the same presets as the last time around. So you can still then decide if you want something that's more of a omnidirectional and it, or if it's just going to pick up a left and right type of thing. So I really enjoy the app because it gives you way more versatility and control than anything else that I've seen. And I think the sound quality, I don't know if they've upgraded any of the internal mic pieces, but the sound quality from the last version was already so good. I ended up doing some mobile, um, broadcasting for my Podmas series and I ended up doing them with my MV88 because I was traveling back home for Christmas to be with my family and I hadn't recorded all of my episodes yet so I was able to go to a quiet place use the app use the mic and I thought the audio sounded just as good as when I'm here with my full setup so I was really impressed with that I love this you can see the bouncing left and right audio as it's going you can see the different like audio pattern that it's choosing I don't know if you can see that on the screen but and I believe that they reduce the interference that could come with cellular so before there was like a message that would come up on the screen that says make sure you're on wi-fi and you've turned off you know bluetooth or all these other things because it could interfere with the mic and i believe they've made some improvements on that which is awesome and you're pretty much you're good to go right now with this setup i'm kind of impressed okay hold on one second let's go grab the old one to compare so let's go ahead and compare so we've got this version here right that fits in the palm of your hand inside of this little case and this guy here, which is definitely not as compact and small. Um, and if you're just talking about this guy up here, um, but yeah, let's get into this, right? If you are looking at this guy, which was the MV88, 
So it looks up and down right now, but don't forget it had an articulating arm so that it could kind of go this way. And then you had to unplug it to turn it around to make it go down the other way. But the nice thing about a lightning cable, right, is there's no, unlike a USB, there's no right and left side that's really considered correct. So you can kind of swivel these around. There is no headphone jack on this. There is no way to monitor your sound from this. And it has the direct connection here to the lightning port. So iOS users were the only ones who were gonna be able to do this if you had a lightning port that looked like this, okay? So that is what the MV88 looks like here. Now the microphone here in the back is the new style. So it is longer and it is a little bit bulkier. It is also heavier because it also has this metal mount on it. So if you're someone who's really, really valuing size and portability, you may want to go with the MV88 and not the MV88 Plus, okay? Also this, because it doesn't directly plug into your phone, it has a cable that does that, you really do have to have some sort of way to mount this. So it really does kind of make you stay within this whole ecosystem or all these pieces that they have. Otherwise, you're gonna be awkwardly holding it like this as you're running around. So I might say that already that's a con on the newer style. There's a lot of branding that's happening. So, you know, the left, right, the shore in here. Um, and on this one, it's very, very minimal. And I don't know if that's bothersome for you, but I mean, it's not really for me. I don't really care, but for some people, if you don't like that look of having branding all over everything, this is a much, you know, simpler unit that doesn't have anything like that happening. So they both have that kind of windscreen that happens. I will say that the other one, even putting it in the case can sometimes damage it. And so the foam kind of gets misshapen. I don't know how that compares with this guy, but let's see if we pull these pieces off. Honestly, these feel, they're the exact same pieces, right? They look and feel exactly the same. So if you look at the two mics, they're quite different, okay? So again, the newer mic is actually quite a bit larger, but it makes sense because they have to fit in all of these components here, like the ability to have your headphone jack and everything. So, I mean, it already has to be longer to accommodate the length of a plug for that. So it looks like the mic mechanism itself is actually very, very similar, right? So this one is just all in black. This one is in silver. It has the Shure logo on here. So I'm just showing you guys the difference here between one and the other. So you can see the size difference here. One other thing that was sometimes difficult with the old style is that because of the open space here and how it fits into the phone, you really had to have a phone case that was kind of like open at the bottom that gave you enough room and there wasn't interference from your cell phone case for your microphone. So again, what was really nice about this was you could articulate this and then change out the head around here and then go the opposite direction. Like if I was talking to myself this way and the sound was picking up that. So that's definitely different. I do like that when they have all of this though, that it is very like, it's all very cohesive, you know? So it's kind of nice. I like that. And like I said, absolutely. I love the Manfrotto Pixie um, stands. Like I have one, I have an extra one. I have one on my vlogging camera, like seriously, right? I'm not kidding. I love these little guys and these are a great investment. And if you were to buy this by itself, it would be about $25 ish and then 28, you know, 30 with tax delivery, all that stuff. And then there's the piece that you would hold your cell phone, which is usually another like 10 bucks. So you would be sitting at like $40 for this setup along with, you know, the phone piece that doesn't necessarily also give you the, the platform with a hot shoe on top. Those are a little bit more expensive. So maybe you'd be like $45. So that's a $45 value there to have the phone mount and you know the and to have the pixie mount. So keep that in mind as you're thinking about the cost of everything because as you're going through this, you're like, okay, so $45 for this and the mount, this microphone itself is $150. And that is not the ability to actually um, have the headphone jack or adapter on it. It doesn't have the additional cables. It doesn't have any of the, you know, because one thing that's on this guy, if this broke, like the entire piece was ruined. Like you couldn't use the microphone anymore. But with this, you can just get a new cable if the cable itself is faulty. And so that's actually a really nice feature to be able to change out cables if you need to. And as well, the other item never had the ability to monitor sound and have a headphone jack. So that's a huge savings right there, or not savings, but it's a huge benefit right there to be able to hear and preview. Because previously what I would do is I would record some test footage play it back and then see that it was okay and then make sure that it was set like that for the next time. But in the moment, you may not always have the chance to do that. So this makes it a lot easier if you are wearing like an earpiece to be able to monitor quickly and know that it's sounding right. 
As far as the software is concerned, it's the same for both. So there's no plus or con for either side because it's using the same program as before. And I think the program is really, really good. Um, again, form factor, this one feels heavier and more substantial, but it could just be, you know, a lot with the mount and everything like that. And this one is a lot more lightweight and travel friendly. Not to say that this one isn't, but I'm just saying if you're someone who really, really values that more than anything else, you're going to be able to say, pop this in your bag really, really easily. But when you're looking at the other pieces, put this down. I mean, this is obviously more bulky because you have to have all of these cables and adapters and everything. So unless you're gonna run around with a unit like already set to go all the time, then you do, you have to disassemble these pieces all of the time. And that's a con for me <laughs> because it was already hard enough to get it into this little mount anyway. So I have to take these pieces apart, put them in, in the bag. And it still, it still doesn't fit. I don't know why it's mad at me. So what we're looking at is this versus this. And this isn't even actually counting the, the <laughs> it's not even counting the handheld part. Um, I still have to take this part off and, and put it in the bag too. So when you're looking at packing, I mean, these are substantially different in size when you look at them. So yeah, I could see someone who wants to travel light here, but the possibility of being able to also have an Android user, um, because if your phone runs out of battery, but the other person has a phone and it's not an iPhone, the ability to be like, no problem, let's go ahead and set this up, download this app real quick for the audio, or you know, you don't have to, it's still gonna record audio anyway, but if you wanna really bump it up, you can use that app to do it. Um, so this is a little bit more bulky, but it is nice that they kind of like put it all together for you in a bag. Okay, so if I'm thinking about this, is it worth, the upgrade between the two. Like if you already have this one, like you do, or I do, um, is it worth getting this one? You're close because I really, really like the ability to have the headphone monitoring. And I already know I love this mount. So I love that. And I love being able to have all of this on here. And I love the ability to be able to not only use my phone, but use an Android device as well. So it's, it's pretty close. I would say if you already have this guy, um, you don't really need to go out and get anything because when I went to Vid Summit last year, I had this Pixie uh, Manfrotto. I had this, I had you know a phone holder and I had, I actually used this. So if you watch my, when YouTube makes you sad video, I used my cell phone even though I had this, which is maybe um, you would think that I would wanna use this instead. Because this has onboard audio and it's, I thought audio was more important. I actually ended up using my cell phone, this, the phone holder, and my Shure MV88. Thinking about this, for me, I don't know if I necessarily need to make the upgrade. If you are someone though who doesn't have all these pieces and you are already thinking about getting this at $150, you are probably gonna need a mount anyway for your phone for vlogging. I already have like three of these and I love them so much. So I could totally get along with these pieces and the phone piece. Um, if you have never had this though, either one of these, then yeah, I would say absolutely it's totally worth it because I love this. The mic is really good. The app is really good. I love the ability to actually monitor the sound. The, the cons though are like maybe like, this is a lot of stuff to carry with you, but I think if you're on the road and you really wanna make it look and sound better and you, or maybe this is, this is what you have to start your YouTube channel and this is what you're using um, and you're making the best of what you've got. This is a really good setup. I would, I would say that your stuff is gonna look and sound great if you're gonna have this mic, a tripod, um, you know, natural daylight and, and you look good. So I am actually pretty darn impressed with the package. Um, it's interesting because a lot of the pieces you can still buy separately. I don't believe though that you can buy the mic separately which is a kind of disappointing, but I could see them selling the mic separately for $199 as because it is an upgrade from the last mic. And if you're gonna spend $199 and then you're gonna spend you know, 40, 45 for the Manfrotto and all that stuff, then yeah, I would say getting the kit is a no brainer. I would say for myself who, you know, I already had this and the phone mount and stuff, then it becomes like, oh, but now I just have another one of these. But that's okay because I'll probably just end up giving one of these away now that I have another one, which I think is a great idea. We should do that, right? Let me drop a comment below if you think that I should have a giveaway and give away one of my extra Manfrotto Pixie tripods. And uh, maybe we will make that happen in a video very soon because it would be very useful for you for as a new YouTuber if what you're using is your cell phone. That's a great little guy for traveling around, vlogging with, and setting up on a table somewhere, so. And I'm actually going to, I didn't have a chance to do it now, but because it's like snowing out, 
welcome to spring in Washington, but it's totally snowing out right now. And I'm gonna go out in the field and I'm gonna use two iPhones and I'm gonna use one with the Manfrotto 88 plus, and I'm gonna do one with the internal microphone only. And then I wanna bring it into like Final Cut Pro, or like video editing software so that you can see the difference in the lines and you can see how much clearer the audio sounds. And I really wanna do this test and then I wanna bring it into the studio, my, my studio here. And I'm going to um, set up some audio tests so that I'm gonna try and do like some guitar strumming or something like that so you can see something musical and you can see how it sounds different between one versus the other but that video is gonna take a little longer to set up and really kind of lay out so there will be a video comparing if you guys want to see that make sure you stick around for that video so I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and comparison video between the MV88 and the MV88 plus video kit if you did give it a thumbs up consider subscribing I'll see you guys in a video very soon bye guys